Welcome back to another edition of Joe's Crabby Old Frozen Shorts right here at the Ranton Chair. Smoke me a filter tube of doom in place for Lucky Strike. Sorting the world's problems out after a trip to town, and boy do I have to tell you, if there is one thing I hate more than being around other people, it's doing it in the wintertime. Oh. I'm sure you can hear the snowblowers going now. It's too little too late in this complex. There's like 18 fresh inches of powder. But I had to dig my car out, lay down ice melt, dust the car off, get the car warmed up, load up the trash because I had eight bags because I cannot get out on the ice. They don't plow anything here. Then I had to get everything done, get to the mailbox, okay, right? It's a dumpster mailbox. Then I had to go up to the gas station. Then I had to go to the get in place and get in some smokes too. And then I'm at home. Now, once I got out of the subdivision, it's fine. The roads are well-maintained, basically dry. I mean, keep in mind, it's been snowing like a dirty pig fucker here for the better part of a week. The city that I live in, uh, we're used to cold weather and snow, so we get plowed out. But they don't come in and plow the little subdivision because it's private property. Now, property management is supposed to do these things, and they might. After two, three, four days of getting angry phone calls from the city because angry people call the city because property management is not in their building, right? And so they call the city and the city gives them like a $10,000 fine and then they get the snow crew out here and they usually do a half-ass job of it. In fact, they usually bury my car to where I can't get my car out and I have to go redig my car out, which if they do that again, somebody's going to get hurt because I don't like digging snow. This shit's hard on my back and my neck. I have enough problems as an adult anyway. I'm barely walking anymore, uh, especially in the wintertime, because it just, it cripples me. I, I'm just curled up like a strip of bacon most days. It hurts. But I had an interesting adventure. Uh, I even got the car stuck almost on the way back because of how badly they maintain it. So I had to kick over the sport setting and romp on the gas. Uh, yeah, apparently Cat Without the Hat's been up to some shit. I was sicker to dog last night. I went to bed early. I ignored my phone. So, like, apologies, whoever the fuck tried to get a hold of me for whatever reason. And I still feel sicker than a dog today, but I'm going to feel better tonight for reasons I will not get into. It usually involves making the room spin around. But I got home and was looking in the mail and stuff, and I won my giveaway. Uh, apparently, one night when I was... Uh, having a hair of the towel, and was fucking around and carrying on on the internet. Apparently, unbeknownst to me, I won a live stream giveaway. So, thank you to my mother, Sparks. I believe this is twice I've won now. And uh, both times she's made good on it, because sometimes when you make good on giveaways, people just kind of short dick you on them that matter, you know. She's not one of them, so check her channel out. But today is mom's shower day, and that means extra work for me. More laundry and stuff and dishes. Uh, I've already got the trash and the mail handled. Uh, no thanks to the fucking property management around here. Uh, I'm not throwing their name out there because OPSEC, yo, but like, let's just say if you know where I live in this part of the world and you know the building I live in, you have my permission to send these people a pipe bomb, okay? I'm not telling you to do these things, but if you were to act on your own volition and let's say they opened it and their fingers got blown off, I wouldn't cry much about it. In fact, I'd probably giggle and have a victory drink. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I'm a spiteful little pair of shorts. I hate being snowed in. I hate having to do other people's dirty work for them. You know, it is what it is. But I am alive. I am well. I didn't fall going to town. I didn't wreck the car. <laughs> and I really needed smokes because we're going to get snowed in even deeper, according to the weatherman. Of course, the weatherman and the congressman are the only man that can lie and get away with it, man. Uh, if you or I tell a lie, people are going to call us cocksucker or liar or, you know, full of bullshit or any other colloquial term we have for, uh, you know, being untruthful. But when they do it, they get paid and they get away with it. Just like Al Gore, right? You know, he can come out here and stand in the yard and blow all the hot air he wants. And defrost this shit, because uh, global warming is a lie. If you don't believe global warming is a lie, well, why don't you go stick, you know, one and a half of my dicks in that snowbank and see if you hit the bottom of it or not? Because uh, let me tell you something. It's fucking cold out here, all right? But anyway, 
as it's time for mom's shower and I have to be on hand in case she falls or gets hurt or needs help. You know, I don't like doing these things, but it's part of being an adult and being a caretaker. Uh, I'm going to go take my frozen old pair of shorts in the house and get the rest of my adulting done so I can actually sit on my butt today and become one with my chair. But yeah, all of you in winter weather, you know, be smart. Don't be a fucking tool. Don't be a towel. Drive safe, drive slow, wear proper footwear, wear proper winter clothes, use a walking aid if you need one. And if you don't need to go out in the shit, don't go out in the shit. Uh, you know, I live payday to payday, so uh, when I run out of cigarettes, like, it becomes one of those emergencies they will have to deploy the National Guard to deal with because I will go ape shit. For now I have enough cigarettes to get through a few days before I went. But if I'm going to keep getting deep snow, then logic dictates that I'm going to go get more cigarettes. That way I don't have to go out in the shit. <clears throat> and as always, uh, yeah, I'm done with today. So if you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, I don't really care. And, uh, you know, as long as it stays warmer, like you'll get some more videos from me. But like when it's 10 degrees below zero, when I wake up in the morning, my frozen old shorts are staying in the house. Yeah, so... Have a wonderful day, and uh, I shall uh, yak at y'all later.